We are all familiar with Siamese fighting fish, but where did it come from? To better understand this story, we must start in Thailand. Here, amidst the chaos of Bangkok, sits one of the largest ornamental fish markets in the world. Here, the real star is the Siamese fighting fish. More commonly known as the betta, it is perhaps the most popular fish in Thailand. Every week, a mesmerizing dance unfolds as thousands of bettas are traded. Each one a living work of art, celebrated for its incredible beauty. Today, many varieties of betta fish exist with various fin shapes and patterns. However, these fish weren't always this colorful and elegant. Their real story starts in a very different place, with a much different fish. The Siamese fighting fish originates from the floodplains of Southeast Asia. Rice farming in the region provided the ideal habitat for betas, so naturally, humans were exposed to them. Betas are amongst the earliest domesticated fish, with records dating back at least a millennium. Yet, what is the true origin of these fish? Thanks to recent advances in genetic testing. We now know that pet betas are actually a mix of several wild species from Southeast Asia, some of which are going extinct. The fancy betas found in pet shops mainly derive from three species: the betta splendens, the betta imbellis, and the betta mahachayensis. To better understand the history of the Siamese fighting fish. We will take you on a journey through Thailand, where you will get to know these three wild betas. Firstly, the betta splendens. With the widest range out of the three species, they can be found throughout central Thailand and neighboring countries. Their habitat is extremely diverse. They are able to adapt to a variety of environments. The betta splendens inhabits shallow, slow-moving waters, and can be found anywhere from rice paddies and flooded fields to streams and ponds. But what makes these fish so special? The betta splendens, much like its domesticated cousin, exhibits unique behaviors. One of its most fascinating features is the presence of a lung-like labyrinth organ. Which enables it to breathe air directly from the surface. The betta prefers areas with dense aquatic vegetation where they hide and forage. Within this habitat, the betta displays intriguing social and territorial behaviors. The establishment of territories involves intense aggressive displays and physical confrontations among the males. As the competition appears. The male betta undergoes a mesmerizing transformation. His scales ignite into vibrant hues of red and blue, serving as a striking warning to deter any potential rivals. If necessary, male bettas will fight to protect their territory and nests. This highly desirable habitat attracts numerous species, some significantly larger. The croaking gourami has extremely similar habits to the betta. Much like the betta, the gourami is a labyrinth fish and a bubble nester, so naturally they often compete for territory. Also sharing these waters are snakeheads, predatory labyrinth fish that are capable of catching bettas. However, life in this habitat isn't solely about rivalry. The betta splendens shares their habitat with a diverse range of species, from the tiny rasboras to the larger Mekong flying barb. These poorly oxygenated waters have resulted in yet another fascinating behavior: bubble nests. To keep the eggs oxygenated, the male betta builds a nest entirely made from bubbles. First, he scouts for a suitable location, often favoring shaded areas. Once the male identifies a suitable territory, he will start the intricate process. Using floating leaves and vegetation to his advantage, 
he meticulously places each bubble. Bubble after bubble, the nest becomes larger and stronger. Hoping to attract a female, he artfully flaunts his vibrant fins. Hidden in the vegetation, a female notices his nest. Her contrasting vertical stripes indicate she is ready to spawn. She approaches the nest and a spectacular display unfolds. The male flares his gill covers and spreads his fins in a beautiful dance. Impressed by his moves and nest, she joins. The pair embraces in a ritual, wrapping their bodies around each other. In this moment, the female releases the eggs while he fertilizes them. Catching the eggs as they sink, he carefully retrieves them to the nest. Under the male's watchful care, the eggs will hatch in just two days. Having just hatched, the fry are still unable to swim. Meanwhile, the male protects them from predators and retrieves them when they fall. Just three days after hatching, the fry are ready to leave the nest. As the dry season approaches, the once vast flooded areas gradually recede and oxygen levels plummet. During this time, better fish slowly navigate their way to other water sources. At times, they may become temporarily trapped in small puddles or ponds until the much-awaited rain provides them an escape. It's their ability to breathe air directly from the surface that allows them to endure these precarious conditions, making the Siamese fighting fish a remarkably hardy pet. Yet, this adaptability doesn't imply betters will thrive in small spaces. เป็นโหลดไซนี้เลยตอนหนึ่งตัวครับไซอยู่ก็อยู่ประมาณอย่างเงี้ยอันเนี้ยคือเลี้ยงไม่ได้ถ้าอยู่บ้านนะโหลโ
At last, a female graces the scene. Will the nest be up to standard? Seduced by this colourful male, she inspects the meticulously crafted nest. The male intensifies his enchanting dance, becoming increasingly more colourful. Yet, as the delicate dance unfolds, the female remains unimpressed and flees from his territory. Now faced with a pivotal decision, the male must choose whether to patiently wait for another chance or create an even more alluring nest elsewhere. However, not all wild betters are as widespread as the Imbellas or the Splendens. The third precursor to today's betters has a much more limited range. Exclusively found in a handful of localities in Bangkok, this species is facing extinction. ว่าอย่างประกาศป่าชนิดอื่นๆนะครับที่อยู่ในไทยอีสานลาวก็มีเขมรก็มีตะวันออกเวียดนามก็มีป่าใต้มาเลย์ก็มีแก้มแดงเ